Hi, in this video we're going to show you a nice free tool you could use to print out directory listings. So if you need to have a list of all the files and folders within a specific folder and you need to export it to say maybe a text file, CSV file, Excel, image, and so on, uh, you could use this app to do so. Alright, so it's called File List Creator. So you just download it and it's an executable. So once you unzip the file, you could just run the executable so there's nothing to install. Alright, so now we have the main interface here. So we have the main file screen and then a preview down here. And then we have some other options off to the side, which we'll get to. Alright, so to do so, you could either add files from here, search for a folder, or if you want to just simply drag and drop. So let's say I want to make a listing of my documents folder here. I could just drag it in here. And you can see we have the files, the format, size, and path here. And if you check this box, you can show the folders too. But one thing I noticed is if you do not have a check before you drag it in, you'll have to kind of re-add the files. So let me remove it. Now you can see we have the directory. So if we sort by format, you can see all of our directories here as well. And another little glitch here to keep in mind, if I uncheck folders, it'll go away. And then if I put it back, even though it says 84 here, it went up. I do not see the folders there, so I have to re-add them again. So there might be a way around this, but so far it just seems like you just have to re-add or just make sure that's checked beforehand. Alright, so once I have them in here, I can see my preview down here with the headers. Then you could add additional files and folders if you want. Then you have some filtering options here. File types, file extensions other settings here. Then we have a column section here. So let's say you want to add modified or created for example, you could do that. So a lot of different columns you could add here. Then you have your table structure for the order of files. So you could sort the files after adding according to these specific formats here. Same with the columns. You could rearrange the columns. And you could also sort here too by just clicking on the header. You can't rearrange them by dragging and dropping the column headers here, but you could do so from here. Additional information, if you want to check out some of these options, grouping settings. Format specific settings. And so on. And then we have our export option here, text file, web page, CSV, Excel, ODS, DIF, images, or print it. Or you could copy to the clipboard. So let's say I just click on clipboard, that'll copy it, and then I could just paste it into whatever, notepad for example. So we have our listing here with our specific columns, like that. Let's say I want to do a web page for example. I don't have Excel, so I'm not going to do a CSV or Excel file here. So click on save. Put it on the desktop. All right. So it actually opened up the file for us here. So here's our HTML list here, which you could send to somebody or print out. And you can see the preview here, how it changes when you pick the HTML view. Same with Excel. You can see how it's going to fit in the cells here. CSV file, ODS, images, so let's try an image here, alright, so here's a single image if you wanted to try it that way, alright, so now let's check out some of the settings here, so if you go to file, you just have your save list, print, and some of the add options here, and export options. Alright, so if you click on the options here, so here are the text settings. 
HTML settings, and so on. So this is nice too. So if you configure the context menu, I already added it here, you could add or remove it. So once you have it there, let me close the program. Start over here. So let's say I right click on documents. So of course Windows 11, you have to go show more options. Then you'll have a send to file list creator. So it'll actually open the program and add that directory in there. So that's a nice feature as well. Then you just have some language, settings, and save settings. And here's some view options. Then if you click on software, you can check out some of their other software. All right, so as you can see, it's a pretty easy way to print out a directory with all its files and folders. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download a file list creator and you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.